This week's AI micro movie producer comes from the land down under. But he's certainly no underachiever since his YouTube channel has 270 visually amazing music videos. That fact is no accident since Dr. Baz has a PhD in digital music production. He was a professional musician who helped develop the music video scene back in the 1980s. Since then, he's been experimenting with everything from video effects to stop motion animation. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your long journey? I got started as a performer with several bands in the 80s. This was back in the pre-digital age when musicians used to shoot their music videos on VHS tape. You've come a long way since the early MTV days, haven't you? Quite literally. In the late 80s and early 90s, I traveled extensively in the Northern Territory on arts and music projects with indigenous communities which I documented on video. So, making the transition to AI video wasn't that much of a stretch for someone with your diverse multimedia background, was it? It was a natural progression to dive into AI filmmaking when it emerged. My first venture was a 30-minute sci-fi film entitled Entombed, which won Best Experimental Film at the 2023 New York Art House Film Festival. I've yet to see that movie, but I've had the pleasure to view some of the ones on your YouTube channel. Your most recent effort literally brings the art of Max Ernst to life. What made you choose this subject? Because Ernst's artworks are figurative yet otherworldly, they are a great medium for animation using AI. I began my series of bringing paintings to life as a tribute to my favorite visual artist, just because it was a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, your planetary puss puss video that takes cats into outer space made me laugh out loud. How did you manage to create such an imaginative music video? My friend Ralph Tyrrell, whom I collaborate with extensively, wrote these silly lyrics, and I saw it as a nice relief from the dark dystopian imagery that has become run-of-the-mill in AI videos. I started by creating images in a mid-journey Pika and Flux, describing what I imagine in the prompts. Do you ever use live-action footage to blend with AI when creating your videos? Frequently I'll include some live footage if it helps tell the story. It's the idea for the story that matters most, the technology is secondary. In Dr. Frankenstein's AI monster, how did you create such incredible detail in the Avatar scenes? For Dr. Frankenstein, I generated the images using Midjourney and Flux and used them as image to video animations in Runway ML, Minimax and Kling. I like to use a whole range of apps as they each have a different look. And because of the randomness inherent in generative AI, there's more chance of getting an interesting result. I'm more than a little jealous of your ability to squeeze such extraordinary results out of the current crop of AI video tools. Have you ever considered documenting your process when you create a future music video? Funny you should ask that. I'm currently constructing a course which will lead you through all the steps and processes of AI movie making and music video production. I'll let you know when it's available. Would you care to give the audience an idea of any upcoming projects you have in mind? I'm currently about a third of the way through an AI musical entitled Fireys about the heroes of the volunteer fire brigade in a small town. I'm halfway through a children's film about a caterpillar called Butterflies Don't Die. And I've nearly completed an animation that's a send-up of the music industry where composers have their heads cut off only to be connected to AI machines. Well, Doc, it sounds as though your creative muse is working overtime. With that in mind, I'll end today's show by letting the audience sample the opening to your music video Living Sci-Fi, a retro journey into the future. Thanks for having me on the show. Future is on us It's all such a blast All of that crazy stuff goes whizzing past Green men and saucers They came from the sky Speaking of galaxies And the square roots of pie 